here, old man. Help! I need help! Please, anyone! Well, I'll have your help! Don't now. let him get away! Is that the last of them? I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Anything useful at the other merchant stalls? That won't happen here. Something caught your eye? running to escape from a fight when exploding. Could I interest you in some of the way? You, sir! You look like you need something. You'll find it here. I'm Come sure of it. Come see what I have to offer. My good people, your search has come to an end. I have anything anyone could want to need. You, sir! You look like you need something. You'll find it here. I'm sure of my way. to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, 
I won't forget it. See what I've got. You won't believe your eyes. Out so comes the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. Al-Hadid rides to meet him. See what I've got. Thief! You are filth! Glorious and exalted. What have I done wrong? Help me, please. Ukhra ban Wazir. I'll have your head. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. God Almighty. I'll have your hand for that! Why are you doing this to me? I've done nothing wrong! You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Please! Help me! Dirty Steve, I'll have your hand <laughs> for that! Let me go! Dirty Steve, I'll have your hand for that! Please! Help me! A la Rislik! Anyone see him? After him! I'll take you down! What are you doing? How can we expect to be? You cannot run! Praise God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. Oh, so. 
What's that? Murderer! Guards! He's a murderer! And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. Tamir drove a caravan in those days between Damas and Jerusalem. But recent business had been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had, fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. It was just before Khatib. The Saracens were low on food and in desperate need of resupply. Infidels! They go against the will of God and must be made to pay! Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade! A crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Come see what I have to say. Come on, come on! I've got to say! Could I interest you in some of my way? For today only, I've decided to reduce prices on everything. Come, come! I am at your service. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. I'll have your hand for that! Let go of me! I've got nothing wrong! Infidel! Infidel, die! Oh. Please, God, you've saved me. All the 
city will know of your sacrifice. Yourself. Who would do such an awful thing? I'll help in any way I can. Who's done this? I'll have your hand for that! What have I done wrong? Tell me, please! So you dare steal my the man his fool! And when the battle life. was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand times! And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, he was sure that should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his surprise. For soon they were sure to be spoiled. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But Fate intended otherwise.
and so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. Soon, they would sure be spoiled. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. You ever see someone do that before? I have. Tamir drove a caravan in those days between Damas and Jerusalem. But re How about you turn around and go away? And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, they would surely spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah Eddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest.
that these barbarous acts mm -hmm. might be avenged. No Pray way. that God, glorious and exalted is he, find favor with us, that he may grant us mm -hmm. victory. Praise be Salahadin! He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence we are fighting for. 